When you're the popular one, there's always the pressure to keep doing the same great things you did before, at times with no penalties and at no extra cost, with the added expectations of doing them better than before. That's the position the Z Flip 4 finds itself in this time around. And after almost two weeks with it, I think I'm ready to share if that's true. Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy new and exclusive videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV. Here is my full experience review of the Z Flip 4. The design and build quality feels right at home with the same clamshell design, a nicer matte finish for the front and back, and a more compact feel with a denser weight, which adds to it to feel even more premium than before. I'm still indifferent to the flatter edges, but I do much prefer the metal frame if it was a matte finish instead of a glossy finish for more grip and a nicer feel. It does at least add a nice visual contrast to the matte finish at the back panel, so that's at least nice to see. Praise where it still do. We still have an IPX8 water resistance, which is still a standout feature for affordable device to have and still show Samsung's commitment to durability. Overall, a great showing and improvement to the design and build quality here for the Z Flip 4. And it feels just right at home. The display experience is still very much the same as we do have a 6.7 inch, 22 by nine aspect ratio, full high definition plus dynamic AMOLED display, which folds vertically inwards with a smooth 120 Hertz refresh rate. The outer cover display is still using the same 1.9 inch, 60 Hertz display panel. The inner display does have slimmer bezels, which makes the viewing experience just feel that bit more immersive and the overall size of the phone feel compact. But the biggest improvement is the new LTPO panel, which refreshes between one 120 hertz and also a brighter display overall now the crease is still visible and for my thumb interaction with it is still something that's more frequent than i'd like apart from that this is a nice display refinement upgrade and if you enjoyed the flip 3 display experience then for sure you will enjoy it here on the flip 4. With the introduction of the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, this now makes the Flip 4 one of Samsung's most powerful mobile devices this year, even ahead of the S22 series, and brings with it a new level of power efficiency that helps the larger 3,700 mAh battery go for longer on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, there is still only 8GB of RAM for the RAM configurations for all of them that you buy for the Flip 4, but we're happy to report there is now a 512GB option available if you are willing to spend more. The day-to-day -day performance when navigating through the UI is more noticeable in a good way than I was expecting, and this is testament to the performance benefits of the 8 Plus Gen 1 with the efficiency gains as well. Overall, I'm very pleased with the performance of the Z Flip 4. A quick word from our channel affiliate partner NordVPN. As our preferred VPN of choice, NordVPN gives you a secure connection while keeping it a fast speed and also access to content in different regions on popular services like Netflix. Use our unique link for your NordVPN plan and our coupon code SAMMOBILE backed with a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee. Although the Fold 4 has been my main device with the heaviest usage, the Flip 4 still gets praised for just how much of an improvement has come to the battery life. Several factors come into this. First, the larger 3,700 mAh battery, then the more efficient LTPO adaptive display, and of course the new 4 nanometer TSMC powered 8 Plus Gen 1. Collectively, this has made a huge difference to the battery endurance of the Flip 4, and I'm happy to report this is the first Flip Series device that can truly carry you through the day with no issues. I still hope that one day we can have, and also break the magic 4,000 mAh battery capacity size, but for now, the major improvements here are positive gain to battery life on the Z Flip 4. What did surprise me was the charging speeds. Yes, the Flip 4 does now support 25 watt charging, but it still takes close to one hour and 30 minutes to charge 100%, which balances out to be the same as the Flip 3. We don't have any factual reason as to why this is, but it's probably down to the fact that the split batteries and how they're orientated and also how they're optimized with the size increase of the battery. Overall though, I am more than impressed and happy with the battery life on the Flip 4. 
We still have the same principal dual camera configuration at the back at 12 megapixels each and a single 10 megapixel selfie for the end of the display. But this time, the main wide sensor is larger in size with an increase in pixel size to 1.8 microns for better low light performance for photos and videos and improved video stabilization. The results are better and the improvements are very much noticeable. That's still not the highlight of using a Flips device's camera because it's all about absolute fun during the capture process, flexibility with the flex hinge for a more hands-free experience and of course, having the outright power of using your rear cameras with the cover display as a viewfinder for the best high quality selfies you can get. I am gonna break the mold and drop this hot take and say that I still want to see a dedicated 3x zoom lens on a flip device in the future as this focal length is still very important to me and the cam UI on the cover display needs to be better optimized to change orientation when shooting horizontally as the camera prompts in the capture process still stay in the vertical position. Away from that, this is still the same awesome and fun camera experience with nice touches and improvements, which I'm really happy with. One UI 4.1.1 with Android 12 is at the heart and center of the user experience. And as familiar as I am with One UI, it feels no different compared to One UI 4.1, but with nice touches and elements actually brought over from One UI 5 Beta 1 such as the advanced features with labs bringing more access to easier multitasking options with swipe 2 split screen and swipe for pop-up view, further showing just how good multitasking is on One UI. With the flex mode being further optimized with more third-party apps like Instagram when you're using things like Reels, the extra features on the cover display for quick replies and more options to customizing cover display, the Flip 4 is still a champ for a more personalized user experience when it comes to the software. I think for sure Samsung have done it again with the Flip 4, especially considering the base price still remains the same at $999. I may be biased and be on the side of Team Fold, but even I can respect just how solid the Flip 4 is and how it still retains the crown as the most popular and easily recommended foldable device you can get. What's your thoughts on the Z Flip 4? Let us know in the comment section below. For the latest news in the world of Samsung Daily, be sure to visit us at sammobile.com. And for the latest videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and we will see you next time.